Hello everyone, welcome back to Mikey React. We've got another reaction video for you today. Um, I've seen you guys are actually viewing um, the like the non-musical side of it as well uh, quite a lot and enjoying that also. So uh, today we've got something cool for you. So we're going to be comparing your country to my country of birth, the UK and the USA. We're going to find out how America makes the UK look like a tiny village. So I'm really excited for this one. Obviously, we know that there's a huge size difference in our countries. The interesting thing is, is that the population difference doesn't correlate to the size difference. So I, well, we're going to find out exactly the difference in size now, but we know that the UK is, what, less than probably a fifth, less than 5%, say, even, not a fifth, a fifth is quite large, less than 5% the size of the, of the USA. And we actually have a quarter of your population, maybe a fifth of your population. We have 68, 70 million. You guys have 365. Um, so let's find out exactly what the size difference is. Guys, if you want to support this channel, you know exactly how. There should be a super thanks button just below. Um, and uh, failing that, literally just a thumbs up, um, a subscription to the channel is more than enough support. So. Let's get to this video and let's see exactly how your country makes mine look tiny. Okay. 874 square miles is larger than not just London, but half of the English counties. Lost Hello, I've I'm seen this guy. I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond, and one of those memos mm. pertains to size. They say that size doesn't matter, but have they looked at a map recently? Because it does matter when you move from Britain to the United States of America. I like this guy. You see, somebody once said that the biggest difference between Britain and America is that Americans think that a hundred years is a long time and that the British think that a hundred miles is a long way. Hmm. And I definitely used to I think like, like this. For instance, I used to think that traveling from my hometown of Grimsby to the city of Manchester was a... He's from Grimsby. Wow. Uh, guys, there's a... Yeah, wow. Grimsby, wow. Way, even though it was only a hundred. He doesn't really sound like it. Hills. But after moving to the United States, where long distance commutes and cross country road trips are not that unusual, I soon realized that Americans viewed 100 miles as no biggie. And as somebody who now fairly frequently does the commute from Chicago to Indianapolis, I have fallen in line with my American comrades. But just in case you don't believe me, or in case you're one of those British people that I often hear about, that comes to the United States and expects to see New York City, Las Vegas, San Francisco, and the Grand Canyon all in one weekend then allow me to present hmm. to you some maps some maps that highlight the scale of the united states in all its glory let's take a look <coughs> firstly let's take a look at the united states okay. as a whole if so my prediction was that five percent so my prediction was that's 20 uk's in the usa i have a feeling it might be more include land and water which we will be doing throughout this video the united states has a total area of about 3.8 million square miles okay in that respect it could contain 40 not just britons but uk so i was wrong by half so by, by double basically well wow. And for clarification, the UK is Britain plus Northern Ireland. The biggest country within the United Kingdom is my home country of England. And you've almost certainly heard that the United States has an entire region named after it. Let's have a look at how they compare. <coughs> As the okay. United States goes, New England is a relatively small area of land comprising six states. Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island. And despite the fact that five of those states feature in a list of the seven smallest, the New England states combined are almost 22,000 square miles bigger than England. That's incredible. In fact, you could throw in Wales and Northern Ireland and New England would still come out on top. That's but incredible. But even when you add in Scotland, there are certain other states that are bigger than the entire United Kingdom. Oh yeah, of course. Texas, California, Alaska. Now, long um, Florida might be. Maybe, maybe, no, no, maybe not Florida. I made a video on the 11, yes, no, 11 not, definitely states not Florida. that are larger than the UK. But this video was mostly crap and the chief complaint about it was that I didn't show any maps. So you just had to imagine it. So Nevada, maybe, Arizona. 
New Mexico. Colorado probably is bigger also, maybe Montana also. Let's have a look. To show that I've grown as a YouTuber and to visually put these 11 states into a UK context, I've put together a graphic. Have you ever seen those videos that compare the size of the Earth to the size of the Sun? Yeah. And then the Sun to the next biggest star and the next biggest star to the next biggest star and so on? Well, yeah, I thought yeah. it would be fun to do the same thing with the UK and its 11 American overlords. So <laughs> here are 11 US states with a total area that's land and water that's larger than the UK. These are just states. It's incredible. Okay, Michigan. Wow, Michigan. Wyoming. Oregon, okay. Colorado, I did say Colorado. Did I say Colorado? I was meant to. Nevada, yep. Arizona, I said Arizona. New Mexico, I said New Mexico also, yeah, that's a big state, a very square state. Montana, I did say Montana, it's huge. Yep, of course, California, and then you get Texas as well. Yeah. Texas is huge, huge. And of course, Alaska being the biggest state in the union. Yeah, that's incredible. That's, in that's insane. That's insane. It's hard to comprehend. My brain's a little broken on this one because I knew that the size difference was great, but just how big it was. Look. As the United States is a continent. I mean, not officially, obviously, the continent is North America because it includes Canada also. But it's, it's, it's the size of a continent. I'm struggling to comprehend the fact that Alaska, I know that the, the obviously it's the biggest state in the Union, is, what was that, seven or eight times the size of the UK? Wow. Just wow. Like, People must be so spread out when they live there. It's incredible. There's so much green space in the UK. If you ever come to the UK, most of it is green. Honestly, most of it is green. Now, if this were a game of top trumps, the United States would be winning by a country mile. Mm. Sorry. So before we continue, I am going to throw in a fun fact that allows the UK a moment of glory. The most number of US states that you could collectively fit into the entire UK is 10. Now, admittedly, it is the smallest 10, and those are West Virginia, Maryland, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Hawaii, Connecticut, Delaware, and Rhode Island. I mean, fair enough. But one thing that you might notice about all of those, with the exception of Hawaii, is that they are east of the Mississippi River. Yeah. But once you go west, things become so big that your eyes fall off. <laughs> This is the Adver. Said family. They love playtime, you see? Right. And this is Homer. This. Count, count, county. Counties larger than Wales. I mean, Wales is a small country, but let's see. Out west are counties. You may remember last year I did a video on the differences between British and American counties, and one of those differences was size. For context, I want you to keep in mind that the largest county in the UK is North Yorkshire. This clocks in at roughly 3,341 square miles. So it is itself more than half the size of Northern Ireland. Well, at this point in the video, it won't surprise you to hear that the United States has well over 100 counties larger than that. Wow. And the vast, vast majority of them are out west. Yeah, I believe that. It's just so now, huge. Now, if we have a county equivalents like boroughs and census areas, Alaska has two county equivalents that are not just larger than North Yorkshire, but the entire United Kingdom. Jeez. Alaska, you are massive and you need to be stopped. You might say, well, Alaska is almost too massive, so this is just cheating. And it is true, Alaska is like the Galactus of American states. We should start calling it Galaska. But even if you hmm. drop down into the lower 48 contiguous states, there are some counties that are so big that they make certain countries look like quaint villages. Yeah, I bet. Take, for example, the largest in the lower 48, San Bernardino County yeah. in California. Yeah. At over 20,000 square miles, it's Man. approximately four times the size of Northern Ireland Jesus. and more than twice the size of Wales. Jesus. And it's not alone. San Bernardino County is one of 10 counties with a square mile area of five digits. Now, in both Britain and America, within your average county, you'll probably find a city or two, and it'll be of no surprise to you whatsoever that America's largest cities are larger than the UK's largest cities. Yeah. Well, I, well Suffolk isn't the, one of the largest cities. 
but London's pretty huge. The UK, the largest city by total area, is comfortably London. In fact, yeah. at 671 square miles, it is the third largest in Europe. Now, it's important to remember that that's before we take into account the wider metropolitan area. And indeed, before we do do that, there are several cities in the United States that are considerably larger than 671 square miles. Surprisingly, none of these go by the name of New York, Chicago, or Los Angeles. No, because they all go upwards, you know. It changes somewhat when we do account for each city's metropolitan area. But again, I'm going to assume one that, of them is Texas, though. Twice. A Texan the city. The largest four places in America that you could reasonably define as a city are all located in Galaska, Anchorage, oh, in Alaska. Juneau, Wrangell, and Sitka. All measure well into the thousands of square miles. Anchorage is that big? I thought Anchorage was a little bit smaller. I'd like to visit Anchorage. Super Alaska, everything is huge. So instead, let's take a look at the opposite end of the country, down in Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida is surprisingly massive, owing partly to the fact that it consolidated with Duval County in 1968. Okay. Nonetheless, when you add up its water and land area, Jacksonville is the largest city in the lower 48. And at 874 square miles is larger than not just London, but half of the English counties. Wow. If you take into account the metropolitan areas of both Jacksonville and London, Jacksonville marginally comes out on top. Wow. And that's despite the fact, yes, I changed my shirt, and that's despite the fact that Jacksonville is significantly down the pecking order when it comes to America's largest metropolitan areas. Yeah. In terms of square mileage, there are dozens across the country that outmatch it, but none more so than the San Bernardino metropolitan area, otherwise known as the Inland Empire. The Riverside San Bernardino, oh. Ontario metropolitan area covers more than 27,000 wow. square miles. Almost the total area of Scotland. Wow. That's it for this episode. Let me know in the comments below some of the experiences you've had in the United States that have really highlighted its enormity. Be sure to share this video with your friends and family so that it travels far and wide. I'm Lawrence Brown. You can follow me on Twitter at Lost in the Pond US. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that my videos don't get lost in the pond. This video was made possible by... That's... That's mad. That's really cool. I'm just kind of... My mind's kind of blown. Look... I'm a well-educated man, right? I know my geography. And of course, I knew that the United States, it's, it's vastly larger than the UK. I'm not stupid. But when you put it into that context and you actually compare them side by side and you realize just that there are counties in the US that are bigger than entire countries in the UK, that is absolutely mind-blowing. So my mind's blown for the day. I don't really see anything topping that new information that I've been given. Well, not new information, but, you know, contextually, it's pretty new. Obviously, you, you know, Alaska looks huge, but you just don't consider it to be that big. And obviously, we know Texas is huge as well. But Alaska is, again, look, if you look on the map that he has behind him, look at the size of Texas. Just go back to the video. You see the size of Texas, size of Alaska. Alaska on a map actually looks the same or if, if not smaller than Texas in on that particular map But it's like three times the size. It's mad Anyway guys, that was a really really good video. Thank you guys for recommending it um, Again, it's good for me to know that everything is just far away from each other in the US um, but I mean It's part and parcel of living in the world's most powerful country. The size is a big aspect of that So that's really really cool. So Thank you very much, guys. I really, really enjoyed this. If you want to support me, you know exactly how. Um, see, I finally stopped saying us. And I will see you on the next video. Have a fantastic day. This button keeps... The, the, the Bluetooth just cuts out very quickly.